Hello and welcome back to Glenn's Small Engine. In this video, we're going to adjust the valves on a Color V Twin. Adjusting these valves are they're not that much different than the Briggs V Twin. Pretty much just a different size hardware. Uh, the procedure exactly the same. The valve cover is held on by four T30 torque screws. There's two ways you can adjust these valves. It's the easy way and the hard way. What I call the hard way is the way the book explains it. it says roll the engine over to the compression stroke. Go a quarter inch past top dead center. And you can adjust both of them at the same time. My method is much easier. I've done it this way for over 30 years. You roll the engine over until one of the valves opens all the way and then you can adjust the other one do it in reverse adjust the top one uh, we're going to start by rolling the engine over till either the intake or the exhaust opens completely then we'll adjust the valve that's not open i like to take the spark plugs out because it's easier to roll the engine over with the plugs out just makes it a little easier for me to spin it over. I can just lay my hand up on the top cover and I can roll it over fairly easy with the plugs out of it. Just a whole lot easier and quicker. First thing we're gonna do is roll it over until the exhaust valve opens all the way right there. Now I'm ready to adjust this top one. The book says four to six thousandths. Uh, I have a feeler gauge here that's actually four on the end. Then it progresses up to six. So it makes it easier. I'm sure you can find these online. Or you can just take a five thousandths figure gauge, four, five, or six. So you can see this four. The four is a little tight going through there. So what I'm going to do is you have a the, the adjustment nut is a half inch. You have a lock and set screw that we have to break loose in the center. It's a Torx 25. It's the size of that set screw right in the center. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can watch me do this. Okay, so we're working on the top one here. I'm going to hold that with a half inch. I'm going to break this loose. <clears throat> break that center piece of loose right there turn it out about a turn a little this one's a little tight so I'm gonna back it off until I can get this all right see I can get the four in now and it gets tight when it gets to the five see remember this is a four on the end and then it progresses to a six so it starts out loose then it gets tight. That's what we're looking for on this one. But now, if you just got a four, you just want to put it in till it till it's dragging a little bit, till it's kind of snug. So we're gonna stop right there. I'm gonna lock the set screw down. See right there is perfect. That's what we're looking for. So now we're ready to do the exhaust valve. So now I'm going to roll the engine over until the intake opens. All right, the intake valve opened all the way. Now I'm ready to do the bottom, which is the exhaust. That's a little tight. I'm going to hold on to this. Hold on to that with a half inch. Take the Torx T25. Turn out about a turn. All right, that feels pretty good right there. So 
but we're going to stop right there on that one. Alright, so that's that's how you adjust the valves right there. Just be sure and tighten that torque screw back down good and tight. Because that's what holds it all together. When you get ready to put these valve covers back on, Kohler makes some sealant, some really good sealant. The part number is 25597-07-S. That's the Kohler part number for the sealant. Or you can use Permatex Ultra Black Advanced Formula. It's not as good as the Kohler. It will work, but the Kohler sealant is better. When you get ready to put these valve covers back on, you want to be sure and best you can clean that old sealant off there. Wipe all the oil off of it and kind of clean it off. I usually use a little gas on a rag, come back and clean it, let it dry before I put my sealant on there. Because it needs to be dry and clean before you put your sealant on the valve cover. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it saves you some money. Stay tuned for more repair videos. Thank you.